in this video, I will show you how to set up your classes. First, log in as a teacher. As a form teacher, you may need to pull your students from the holding class. To do this, you select your class from the list. Your class will appear on this window if and only if you were assigned as a form teacher. If you were, if you're not seeing your class in the list, check with your grade supervisor. To set up your class by pulling the students from the olden area, you select the third icon in this cluster of buttons here, the one labeled setup class. Click on the button to maximize the window so you get a better view. From the list on your left, select the olden class. In this case, I am the form teacher for seven respect. And as such, my students will be in seven zero. From this list, you look for your students. Once, once you find your student, you select the student's name. You click on the button. This button right here at the top that says add selected rows. Click on it. The student will be pulled from the list and assigned to the class over to the right. Notice that your class is selected. You can sort this list. Let's say you want to sort the list by gender. You can click on the gender column heading and it will sort the students by gender. Notice that it still maintains the alphabet. All right. Once you find it, you can make multiple selections by checking the box multiple times for the students that are in your home room. Then you click on the add button to add them all. All right. You will notice that when I select a name and click below, I lose my previous selection. However, when I click consistently in the checkbox, I maintain my selection. But if I click on this fifth student, notice I've lost my previous selection. To prevent this, you can either make sure you're clicking directly in the checkbox or simply hold down the control key on your keyboard and click the checkbox or anywhere that your student is listed. Then you click on the add button. It's a good idea to add a few students as you see them. You don't need to select all the students at once. You don't need to select them in any particular order. You just make sure that they are accounted for over here on your right. Once you're done, ensure that you click on save before you leave the window, otherwise you will lose your work.